Now, how else can a person get Allah Taala's rahmat, his mercy, his forgiveness? It is by pleasing him. If a person wants something from his father, then can he get it by swearing his father and cursing his father? If he wants it out of the pleasure of the father, then he has to make the father happy. There's no other way. And if the father in anger gives something to, because this is putting up a tantrum and is putting up a performance, and he is telling the father, I will shoot you if you don't give me a scooter or if you don't give me what I am demanding. So then the father says, take it. He wants money for drugs to sometimes the father gives it because the father fears his life. There are so many cases the father tells. He says, what else must I do? He threatens me. He says, he's going to shoot me. He's going to put his gang on me. The father actually told me, he says, my son says he's going to put his gang on me. Now what must I do if I don't give him the money for the drugs? So now in such a case, if the father has to give it also, has he given with his happiness? He has given with his displeasure. He has given with his anger. And if it is possible, or if it was within his power, he would have given him a good hiding and a good beating. Now Allah wa ta'ala, can anybody put his, put his gang on Allah ta'ala? Nauzu billah. Can anybody threaten Allah ta'ala? So Allah wa ta'ala also without threat, but he still sometimes gives, but he gives with his anger. He says, you want to disobey me, displease me, you don't want to do what I order you to do, then no problem, take it, have it. But then he gives it as an azab. The outward form of it is the same. It looks like it is great ni'mat and great blessings. But it's an azab of Allah Ta'ala. The peace, the happiness, the tranquility, the sukoon is taken away. The person becomes a wreck. He has no kind of happiness, no contentment, no satisfaction. So it was as Ibrahim ibn Adham Ramatullah Ali from the mistaken. So he says that firstly we have displeased Allah Ta'ala. And we're not even making an effort to please Him. Then how do we expect our du'as to be accepted? How do we expect our du'as to be accepted if we have displeased Him and we are not even making the effort to please Him? 